The first thing to know is the Pyeongchang Organizing Committee is very proactive in being energy efficient. Six venues are eco-friendly. Team USA will win no worse than silver. This is a rematch from the last Olympics and also a rematch from the Olympics before that. Half pipe, moguls, aerials, ski cross, slope style. That last one is the specialty of McRae Williams. He's from Tonga, which is an archipelago, a group of islands in the South Pacific. He's a summer and a winter Olympian. In Rio in 2016, he competed in Taekwondo. Here, he's going to compete in cross-country skiing. I like to consider myself pretty observant, and we've all been to sporting events. You look up at the Jumbotron, you see the Kiss Cam, you see the Dance Cam. In South Korea, they have a Gangnam-style cam, and I love the mascot, by the way, Suhurong, the official mascot of the Olympics. He's wearing aviators and a scarf, and people did dance to Gangnam style. It was pretty fun. Hey everyone, Andrew Martin here with the Ship Sibs. Alex and Maya Shibatani, now two time Olympic bronze medalists. Keegan Randall, who made history in cross country skiing. Britta Sigourney, now an Olympic bronze medalist in freestyle skiing, women's half pipe. The Ghana flag right here. You gotta make sure you have the Ghana flag. That's because Akwasi Frimpong is at the Olympics representing Ghana. He lives in Utah. But Ghana is where he was born, and it's fitting that it's just the second Winter Olympian ever from his home country. He got to be its flag bearer during the opening ceremony here in Pyeongchang. That was probably one of the coolest part. I was uh, I was definitely chill out until about two minutes when I had to walk into the arena. I was like. Whoa, I'm actually waving the flag for 29 million people in my country. Less than a week later, Frimpong competed for his country in men's skeleton. February 15th, 2018, a day he'll never forget, spent at the Olympic Sliding Center. It was super cool. Obviously, we didn't, I did not have that uh, many runs to practice the track. But, you know, the Olympics is all about having the opportunity to compete against the best of the world. And that I had that opportunity was just awesome. Akwasi Frimpong didn't medal. He didn't expect to. As a matter of fact, his expectations were on his helmet in the form of a lion trying to eat a rabbit. And the lion stands for, you know, the, all the, the, the things that I went through, uh, the dilemma, the stress, the Dutch immigration, all the people that were trying to pull me back. And the rabbit, you know, was supposed to symbolize me trying to escape out of the lion's mouth. In other words, it's a metaphor for his life. In South Korea, I'm Andrew Martin. They call this area the Gangneung Olympic Park. It's home to hockey, curling, figure skating, and speed skating. So needless to say, it'll see a lot of foot traffic between now and February 25th. All those people will walk right by Team Korea House. Every spectator to this Olympic venue, they can uh, enter this house and look around the uh, facility. And there is many um, program programs to uh, look around the Korean culture. The house was built by the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism. There's an area for artwork, an area for photography, even an area for K-pop, Korean pop music. At Team Korea House, there's only one area that's off limits to the general public, the upstairs. That's for the athletes and the Korean delegation. Second and third floor for them. They can um, use the uh, lounge. Korean delegation? Yes. So just South Korea? Yes. And on Tuesday, they'll welcome the president of the IOC. He's scheduled to visit on Korea night. In South Korea, I'm Andrew Martin. Hello from Pyeongchang, South Korea. The 2018 Winter Olympics are officially underway, and we wanted to update you on Salt Lake City native Nathan Chen. Pin trading is not a side activity. It is one of the major points <laughs> of focus for people at an Olympics. And not just the Olympics. I've seen people trade pins at Disneyland, but here they take it to a whole nother level. I'm Andrew Martin in Pyeongchang, South Korea, here with Karina to share with us today's Korean word of the day. I have no idea what that means. What is that in English? It means teamwork. Ah, see, that's teamwork. She says it in Korean. I say it in English. That's today's Korean word of the day.